Toyota Tacomas are built tough and built to last. However, if you plan on doing any serious off-roading or rock climbing, damage will happen. Thankfully, there is a massive skid plate aftermarket to armor your taco to take a beating. Here's your ultimate guide to Toyota Tacoma skid plates. Skid plates are panels made of tough and abrasion-resistant material that are bolted onto the bottom side of a vehicle to prevent damage from occurring to the underside of a vehicle when it makes contact with the ground. For a Tacoma, the biggest place you're going to want to protect would be under the engine and your front suspension. You can get carried away and cover other suspension components and beyond as well. Prices can vary, but they're all cheaper than the cost of replacing what they protect. There are plenty of expensive and important components under our Tacomas that, while designed to be durable, shouldn't have mountains scraping against them. Thankfully, there are a family of skid plates designed with this in mind. We offer a full line of all the skid plates for Tacomas that I'm about to mention on our website, Empire Off-Road. You can find the link in the description to take you to it. These skid plates mount directly behind your front bumper and offer a front line of protection from whatever you throw your truck into. Generally, they make use of your truck's existing mounting points so no extra drilling is required. Even mild off-roaders can benefit from a front skid plate. These offer a level of armor to parts such as radiators, AC condensers, oil pans, engine accessories, and more. These are one of the panels that can be easily seen from anyone outside your truck, so it's a great opportunity to get something that looks good as well as to show off that you mean off-roading business. Transmission damage is an expensive mistake. While Toyota does make a very robust transmission, you don't want to take advantage of that and come crashing down on a boulder. Designed to secure the transmission from the wild trails, a transmission skid plate will also generally mount up underneath your Tacoma with no extra drilling required. While great on their own, they're even better when paired with a front skid plate and transfer case skid plate. Adding all three together will effectively armor the whole front and midsection of your Tacoma in one almost continuous go. Your transfer case is designed to provide power as needed to your front and rear wheels. It is also an absolute must to keep this crucial part protected during your off-roading adventures. This is mounted directly behind your transmission. While best to pair with a front and transmission skid plate due to its small size, this plate will ensure a better chance of survival of your transfer case during your next rock climb. Lower control arms are basically responsible for holding your front wheels in place, so you don't want these hung up on a rock. These plates are designed to effectively enclose the exposed bottom and sides of your lower control arms to take the brunt of any impacts. When shopping around, you do want to take note about fitment. Many manufacturers have special notes such as not being able to fit TRD Pro models or models with a TRD front skid plate. Do your research before you buy. Obviously, a hole in your fuel tank is bad. Not only do you risk spontaneous combustion, but running out of fuel and potentially being slapped with a fine from the EPA is bad too. While very durable, if you do some serious off-roading and you can't afford the extra protection, you might want to look into one of these skid plates. I could go into further detail, but hey, holes in your gas tank are not good. While not something you would normally think about protecting, your rear shocks are actually pretty exposed to everything. Protecting them can be a bit of a challenge since they are designed to retract and expand as needed, but there are a few options on the market. For the reason above, most opt to protect one of the most crucial impact points, the bottom. Scraping and impacts to this part of the shocks are common due to off-road use, and not only does this degrade the life of the shocks, but it could make them challenging to remove when you go to replace them in the future. Best to keep them protected. For a lot of these, you have the option of steel or aluminum. Which is better? Which should you get? It all depends on how you're using your truck. Steel is a very strong material, and it could take a beating and keep on going. If you're doing some serious rock crawling up the side of a mountain, you will want the protection of steel. The downside is that steel is very heavy. Weight affects the performance of your truck, gas mileage, acceleration, braking, balance, and so on. On the other end, aluminum is very light. The trade-off is that it's not as strong. If you're a weekend warrior that goes on a couple of trails, and you might have a hill or two, aluminum is the way to go. Weight will still be added to your truck, but it's far less than steel. Now don't be shy about protection. Aluminum will get most jobs done the same way steel will, but depending on the thickness and how sharp the rock is that your truck just crashed down on, it could be the difference between a scratch and full puncture. Know your end goal and buy accordingly. Skid plates protect all of the expensive mechanical and electronic stuff, but what about the rest of your truck? While I have your attention, let's take a quick look at some other options. Brush guards do a great job at protecting the front of your truck, and sliders protect the body and sides of the undercarriage. There are so many options, styles, and functions available out there. For a full write-up on these topics, check the links in the description for our posts on Empire Off-Road. If you're concerned about rolling over during your adventures, a full-on roll cage might be a good option, but if you want something that looks good, is cheaper, and still offers some protection, a roll bar is a good option. You can get them for around $500. 
A very expensive option, but very durable if you're serious about off-roading, would be bumpers. Stock bumpers look great, but offer no protection while rock crawling. Off-road bumpers are very heavy, but designed to take a beating. There are plenty of options to protect your Tacoma while you're battling the earth. It all depends on where you're going and how hard you're pushing your truck. Regardless, make the investment now so you don't have to pay the price later to replace expensive components. If you want to see more videos like this on Tacomas and Tundras, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss the future videos on Empire Off-Road. Thanks for watching.